Hi there, Richard Lobenberg from Yellow Gazebo Natural Healthcare in Toronto here. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about electroacupuncture. It'll also be a good demonstration on how acupuncture itself works, but we'll be focusing on a bit of an explanation of what electroacupuncture is. So, acupuncture needles uh, should always be sterilized single-use needles. Uh, I use uh, this brand here. I'm going to take out two. Uh, electroacupuncture is uh, generally done with a TENS machine, which is a small machine that provides a bit of an electrical current. Uh, it's just this big, uses a 9 volt battery. Uh, this particular machine can hook up uh, three different uh, pairs of electrodes, and each pair would run between two needles. Uh, so for my purposes, um, I use a maximum of six needles stimulated with electroacupuncture. Um, before I demonstrate, uh, let me tell you when I use electroacupuncture. I generally use it when a patient is in a lot of pain, uh, and usually after we've tried just acupuncture or maybe acupuncture and some herbs, um, electroacupuncture is sometimes something that I use kind of as a, a method of just giving that bit of extra oomph. Uh, other practitioners use electroacupuncture for other means. Those uh, are generally the reasons that I use uh, and the ways that I use electroacupuncture. Okay, so I take an alcohol prep pad. I'm going to run a little stimulation from large intestine 4 to Sanjo 5 on my left hand and forearm. Very simply. Uh, squeeze the hand together and I'm going to insert that. That's how you find large intestine four, and it's about halfway between the uh, bone. Um, I, I'm not looking, not because I'm scared of it, but because it's a very feeling thing. But when uh, when I needle, as do most uh, acupuncturists, um, you feel it. You know, it's not a visual thing. Uh, you can see it doesn't really hurt. I'm going to stimulate now, um, or sorry, insert a needle on Sanjo five. Again, I feel. I guess I should explain what I'm feeling for is the chi grabbing or the body really using chi to grab the needle. Um, sometimes the needle doesn't want to go in, and it's because uh, you know you may not need acupuncture at that point, or the body just doesn't want it there. My cords are all tangled at the moment. Um, okay, so I've got two electrodes here. I'm going to hook up one. The needles have to be in a decent amount or the electrodes will pull the needles out. So that's a bit of a drawback to electroacupuncture. But they're hooked up. I mean, they're attached to the needles. You can see it doesn't cause any pain. Um, this is awkward because I usually use two hands for it, but it's okay. I can do it. Get that little guy in there. Um, so we started a very low setting. I'm on channel three, so I'm going to turn on channel three. Um, that is unplugged into channel three. Here we go. I'm just waiting. I'm very slowly turning it up, waiting till I feel something. You can have, you can set the frequency to a steady pulse or an intermittent pulse or a really fast one. I've got kind of an intermittent pulse thing going. Don't feel it yet. It's at two. You can go all the way to ten. I don't think I've ever put it past five. And that. Uh, I saw I used this on a patient the other day for numbness and tingling in their uh, in their feet. So I can feel it on large intestine four, the first need point I needle. I can feel it a bit on Sanjo five. And turned up enough, uh, it can be a bit stingy. So we don't we want it kind of just at the point of bearability. I don't know if bearability is a word, uh, but I'm using it. It's a word now. Um, and uh, what I do is I leave the patient for about 10 minutes and uh, come back into the room, uh, turn it up again so that uh, the body will adapt to the electricity at some point. Uh, come back in, uh, turn, turn it up just a tiny bit until they're at the point of bearability again. And uh, I'm going to have to write that down. I like that word. And then that's it. Leave them another 10 minutes. Done. Um, turn the machine off. Unplug the electrode. Put the machine away safe practicing electroacupuncture. You don't want to take it off the needles while it's still going, so you could zap yourself. Um, one thing you never do with electroacupuncture is cross the heart. 
I mean, we're only using a 9 volt battery, but you don't take any chances. Always practice safely. Um, I'm going to take out these needles now. One and two. There we go. Done. Painless. So if you have any questions uh, or comments, info at yellowgazeboclinic.com or call us at 416-909-2334. Thanks and have a great day.